All right, I'm going to tell you how to improve your photography without any new equipment at all. It's called Ask a Stupid Question. I'm John Rowland, and this is Photography in the Real World. Okay, so when I started in photography, I was, uh, well I am, kind of an introvert. Um, I don't talk much to people, uh, kind of shy. I, the only reason I get out there is because of photography. I really, really like taking pictures. And one of the ways to get better pictures is to get people to cooperate with you to get them to do what you want them to do um, as a photojournalist uh, you don't you don't direct people you don't stage things um, you take things as you find them but you also need access and one of the ways to get access is um, to have a rapport with people. You, you talk to them, you are interested in what they're doing, you probably are interested in what they're doing. I mean, if they're doing something that you're not interested in, don't fake interest. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, do something else. Um, but as a newspaper photographer, I was pretty interested in, in a lot of things. And you think to yourself that this is not going to happen. This is not what you want to happen is not going to happen. Case in point, um, this is probably the most outstanding example of asking a stupid question. So, when I would go to shoot something, um, I would talk to people, you know, find out about them, find out what they were doing. In this particular case, in this particular picture, um, they were putting up a radio tower in uh, Pasadena, and this was for the police station for communications. Um, they were changing their um, radio from 120 megahertz to something to 800 megahertz and it was kind of a big deal it was much better communication system and they needed a big tower to make it work and so I went out there to take the pictures of the tower and you're on the ground I'm taking pictures of the guys up in the air and I mean you just know from the minute you walk up there, the, the picture is not on the ground. The picture I had in mind was up high looking down. And there was a guy there, looked like the foreman. I went over, talked to him. I had taken a bunch of pictures from the ground and I was really like, these suck, they're terrible. I really don't want to do this. I really want to be up on the tower. So I talked to him about how long he had been doing it, how many towers they do, how long does it take to do a tower. And I'm genuinely interested in all this. And I had taken all the pictures and I had taken, I had talked to him for a little while and I knew, I absolutely knew there was no way in hell he was going to let me up that tower to take a picture of the guy. It was just out of the question. I mean, it would be completely stupid for him. I don't want to say he's stupid, but there's no way, no way that he's going to let somebody off the street climb up a tower to take a picture of his guy putting the tower together. But... I get to the end and I'm like, hey, um, you know, would it be all right if I would, you know, I'll just 
climb up the tower real quick and you know just get a picture of your guy from up up top you know looking down and he put his head down a little bit he put his hands on his hips he thought about it for three seconds one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi and I'm like okay I hadn't said no and then he looks at me and he goes uh, I suppose that'd be all right and I just poker face like okay calm okay inside it's a jolt of adrenaline it's like <laughs> but outside it's like uh, calm okay I'm like all right cool thanks um, I'm just gonna go you know I'll go do that now I was like I, 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 I grab my camera um, I have film in there this is during film uh, days um, rewinding the film of a F1 motor drive Canon F1 rewinding the film I go back 10 15 feet away from him put my camera bag down I'm gonna put my 20 millimeter lens on and as fast as I can I'm gonna get film in the camera and all I can think of is I've got to climb high enough on the tower that it's plausible when he comes to his senses and says hey, get, get back down here I can pretend like I don't hear him so as, qu and as quickly as I can I, I try to put film in the camera and I can't find I have a, a ton of film in, the, in my camera bag and I wanted to put 100 speed film in I, I couldn't it's there, I know it's there, I can't find it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go with the 400, I always go, f and for some reason I, I, I can't find the 400 speed film. And I always carry a couple rolls of 800 just in case I find myself in some place dark. And I'm like, oh, I don't wanna use it, but it's all I have. And I put the 800 in the, in the camera and I, I crank it, make sure it, it's on there and you know when I got back down from the tower it, all the film is right there the only thing I can figure is it was hysterical blindness I was just out of my mind and I couldn't even see so anyway uh, I rush over the tower camera goes on and I start to climb and I'm climbing I'm climbing I'm climbing I'm climbing and he doesn't say anything I'm like, I can't believe it. I climb up. As I'm climbing up, the guy in the picture looks down and he's like, what the are you doing here? What, what, what? And you know, he was <laughs> a little surprised to see me. So uh, anyway, I get up there, I take the pictures, I come back down, everything's fine. I didn't say anything about the part where they put the harness on you and the strap to make sure you don't fall off because that didn't happen. That's why that part's not in the story. But the part that's important is you think you're, you can't do something. You know you can't do something. You know there's no way this is going to be allowed. Ask a stupid question. Yeah, what, what's he? He'll say no. Well, I mean, I fully expected him to say no. He didn't say no. If he had said no, I would have started thinking, is there another way I can get up high? Is there? But he said, uh, I suppose that'd be all right. So, when you want a better picture, you don't need a better lens. You don't need a better camera. You need a better angle. You need better access. You need to be in a better spot. And one of the ways to get in a better spot is just ask. A lot of people, if you talk to them, they get a sense that you're a good guy. They get a sense that you're not there to, to screw with them. You're not there to 
you know, make them look stupid or anything like that, uh, they cooperate a lot of times, a lot more than I would have ever thought. But over the years, that's, that's what I've found. People are pretty reasonable, pretty willing to cooperate. So give it a shot. Um, that's it. Keep shooting. The more you shoot, the better you get.